Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at how we create a simple form and a save function within it. So I'm going to select a table that I want to create a form for. Um, I can click on create and then I have a few options. I can either click on form, form wizard, or there's a drop down for more forms. In this instance we're going to go straight to form and because we've selected a table it will create the form based around that table that was selected. Don't worry, we can still edit it. We can go to the view option and click on design view and then it should show us our table or our form in the design view. What we can do from here is we can change the sizes of things, stretch it out and we can also see the properties of the text entries and bits and pieces that we want to put on there. If we click on the design tab, you'll get a few options where you can add extra things like buttons, more text boxes, radio buttons graphs and images. So if we were to click on one of our text fields we can click on it and we can see that we have a series of properties in our property sheet on the right hand side that we can change. That can change things like colors, text, it can allow us to put validation rules and validation text which is going to be quite useful to allow us additional features to that that's already set in the tables. So if we have a for instance an email field we can add a validation rule and some validation text to that field before it even goes into our tables. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a button and we're going to click on our area and select where we want our button to go. So click on the button option at the top, go down, click and hold and drag it across. The wizard will pop up and give us a few options. We're going to go on to record options and we're going to click on save record. Click next. And then in this option, we can choose to have either a logo or an icon or some text. We're just going to stay, leave it save record. And then we're going to give it a name of CMD save. Once that's done, click on finish. And then we have our button. We can change the button size by clicking on the handles to make it bigger and smaller as we wish. Now, if we go and view that and run it, we can see that once we click on save record, it works, kind of. We don't know. There's no proof there. So if we want to put some proof, we can click on the record button in design view, right click, go to build event. Once we get into build event, you can see the processes that are behind it. We're going to add a message. So we go down a box, click on the add an action, choose a message box, and then we're going to give the message box uh, record saved inside the message. We can choose the type of it to be an alert box or a prompt box or a message box or an information box. In this instance, we're just going to click on information. And then we can give it a title as well, such as save. You can have a bleep occur if you want to. You can turn this off if you don't. Now we're going to drag this message box just up to where it says command save record. So just underneath that, that will trigger the save and then we'll get our message box once it's done. Click save, agree, and click yes. And then if we go back into our design view and then move over to the live view, we should be able to click on an area, change the record, Click on the save record button and then it saves a record and then displays a message for us.